Hey everybody, I'm Mama Baird and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing London Sunshine's eight tray dehydrator. One of the things that my kids go through a lot is snacks. Always needing snacks, 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 snacks. Mama, 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 snacks, snacks, snacks. So I think it's about time Mama Baird learned how to make her own snacks. So I'm gonna be making some fruit leathers. Now, I'm not a dehydrator. I have not really done this before, but it's something that I wanna learn. And I really wanna encourage you guys that if there's something you wanna learn how to do, just jump in there and learn how. Like that's the only way to do it is to get in there, get your hands dirty, make some mistakes. So I really wanna encourage you guys to get out there and learn something new, especially if it's gonna save you some money. So my plan is that I'm going to dehydrate some of the fruit that I've had in the freezer. I have a pack of dragon fruit pieces. I actually thawed it because I thought it'd be better to thaw it, but it's not necessary. You can blend it while it's frozen, but we're gonna blend this up. I am gonna keep the juice in there because I believe that's where a lot of the flavor is, but we're gonna cook this down on the stove. I'm also going to mix it with some unsweetened applesauce just to give it kind of a texture that I think would work well for fruit leathers, but it's going to have that great dragon fruit color and it's probably going to have its flavor too. So we're going to do that flavor as well as I have some blueberry applesauce that I made myself. If you haven't seen this video, I can link it below. This blueberry applesauce is so good and I think this will be fantastic as a fruit leather. So we're gonna do this as well. We are making two different flavors of fruit leather here. We're gonna test out our London Sunshine 8 tray dehydrator here. Doesn't she look so sparkly? I really like that it has tray liner that's removable so it can catch any grease or any debris down here and it's easier to clean the dehydrator. These little silicone mats are what we are going to put our fruit leather in. So they were generous enough to send me some of these, so I appreciate that, because I am excited to learn how to make my own snacks for sure. What other kind of snacks do you guys make in your dehydrator? Like uh, kale chips, I hear that's popular. Um, look, I'm separating these just to put them back on top of each other, right? <laughs> it's kale chips, ooh, I've heard of like um, sp spicy chickpea popcorn, have you guys heard of that? I don't know, that sounds pretty good. Everybody's always looking for ways to use up chickpeas. And then we have some tray liners here. So in case what you're doing will fall through, like this is really good for herbs because that way when they come out, they're super dry. You can just fold this up like this and put your herbs in there or herb if you're a guy. Ah, so that looks really nice. I like those, but we're trying out the fruit leather today. So, so let's jump over to the Vitamix and we're gonna blend up this dragon fruit. So here's our dragon fruit. Ooh, that's gonna be so pretty. And then I'm gonna add probably about equal amounts of applesauce. Here we go. And then I have some honey here, local honey. Eventually we would like our own bees. Do any of you guys have bees? Oh, that sounds so fun. So I'm gonna put some honey in there. And then I'm just gonna put in a squirt of lemon juice for a little extra zing. a little bit okay I still wanted some of the dragon fruit seeds in there so I didn't completely polarize it but that's pretty pretty good so we're gonna take this over to our stove and cook this till it's nice and thick. All right, we'll get our puree in there. He, 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 he smacked it. There you go, there you go, okay, there we go. All right, we're gonna turn our heat on and we're just gonna get this reduced to probably like three times less its size to make it as thick as possible so it won't have to be in the dehydrator as long. With our passion fruit applesauce mixture on the stove cooking down, I'm gonna go ahead and open up my blueberry applesauce and get that prepped and ready to go. This has already been thickened to get canned, so I don't need to thicken this up anymore. So this goes straight into the liner. So let's get in here. This is chunky. Chunky. Kid, repeat everything you say. 
Chunky, chunky, chunky. Let's see, and I'm just going to make it as thick as this tray is, because that's what these are for. That's what so, this is for? Yes. Ooh. So if I make it as thick as the tray, well, that's a big piece. Put that back. Those are the stats today, and you can roll up. Nope. Be careful not to get any on you. Yes. Well, that's why I got my apron on, in case I get any on me. You sweat, Bubba. Smart. Smart cookie. Smart mama. Or is it a smart roll up? The van while we were out there. Okay, okay, don't do that. Okay. Well, that one looks good. We'll put that one on top. What does that actually do this like? Yep, so what this does is that it, it pulls out all the moisture and makes it kind of leathery. So then you can roll it up and eat it. And it tastes like a fruit roll up from the store. Okay. But it's from our homemade app, blueberry applesauce. We could make this all of oh no felt by. Yeah, isn't that exciting? Yeah. We could do any kind of flavor. Yeah, yeah. What kind of flavor would you want to do? I bet we could do strawberry when we get strawberries. Oh yeah, fresh we strawberries. Grow, we got to grow more strawberries. We do. We do have a lot of raspberries we grow. Yep. There's a lot, but they roast. They for yeah, we gotta wait till season. You meant like spring? Yes, spring. Alright, so here's our second tray of our blueberry applesauce. I'm already making a mess. Oh, it goes this way. Okay. Let's go check on our passion fruit. Whoa, she's a bubbling. She's bubbling. Mama, that honey helps. Holy moly. Does that even hurt you, the smoke? No, it's steam. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, so this is good. We're going to reduce this till when we move it. You, no more liquid forms that spot. So we got quite a while to go. All right, so this is getting there. You can see how you move it, and then you can see the pan a little bit, but I still want it to be a little more thicker. So we're just gonna keep on going for maybe two or three more minutes. All right, so I'm gonna turn it off at this point. You know, I was just thinking I probably should have added the honey after, because I think heating honey kills the, the benefits of it. But that's all right, we'll do that next time. All right, so we're gonna let this cool down. Down. I'm just going to pour it on here. Looks like we're going to get one. Let me get a spatula. Let's get our dragon fruit, fruit leather in there. All right, let's turn around. Mama. Temp, we're gonna go to Mama. one, hold on. Temp, we're gonna go to 122. And then time, we're gonna go for four and a half hours and then we will check it. Hey everybody, it is the next morning. I let this go for a few hours, ended up being around six or seven. So we are gonna get in here and check this fruit leather and see how she did. So this is our dragon fruit. You can see I was testing it a little bit since it was my first time doing it. Looks pretty good. Let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. That's pretty leathery. Oh, look at that, it worked great. Let's give it a try. First time trying homemade fruit leather and this was the dragon fruit with just a little bit of unsweetened applesauce. Holy moly. I almost forgot what the texture's like of a fruit roll up because I haven't had one in forever because you know, they're pure sugar. Wow. I don't really feel the crunchiness of the seeds. I was wondering about that. 
There's that color, can you see that? This really didn't take that long to do. Ah, I'm gonna eat the rest of it. This didn't take anything to do and I got some fruit out of my freezer. This would be great with fresh fruit, canned fruit, pretty much any kind of fruit. What are your favorite kind of fruit leather combinations? I bet we can come up with some good ones. Let's see how the applesauce did. Oh yeah, so it still looks a little gooey. Here's the blueberry applesauce, my homemade one. Wow. Now, my applesauce did not get pureed very well. I didn't have a good immersion blender. Emulsion? Immersion. I didn't have a good immersion blender when I grinded this, so it does have big chunks. Oh, it's got that. That's so weird, the chewiness of a fruit roll. I forgot. Man. The kids are definitely going to like this. Guys, this London Sunshine Dehydrator did absolutely fantastic. Way more than I was expecting. It made plain applesauce taste like amazing fruit roll-ups. Definitely flavors that you could never find at the store. I really want to encourage you guys to invest in pieces of equipment like this to start making food yourself. Give yourself the ability to preserve your own food and make your own food security. This piece of equipment costs less than a month of groceries. And think of all the money you're going to save by starting to create your own snacks. So we made fruit leather, but I hope you subscribe because we're going to be making all kinds of our own homemade snacks in this dehydrator. So thank you London Sunshine for sending me this. I absolutely love it. I'm gonna leave a link in the description box below. You guys get a discount, go check it out for yourself and all the other kitchen equipment they have. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll catch you next time on Mama Barrett's. Mm -hmm.